I was talking to my friend last week who's always having car trouble. He has this older BMW that looks great on the outside, but it's always breaking down on him. It's to the point where he's about to lose his job because of all of his no-shows from his car not working. As he was describing his problems, I just had to ask him, why not just trade your older BMW for a cheaper, more reliable car instead? He told me that he couldn't possibly be seen in some cheaper car in front of all of his friends and the girl that he was dating. He just wouldn't listen, so I pressed again. You're at the point where you're about to lose your job because your car is spending more time on a tow truck rather than on the road, and you care more about what your girlfriend and your friends think of you? No matter what I said, giving up that BMW was just not an option. And I actually found out yesterday that he ended up getting fired from his job. We all know somebody that lives way outside of their means just to impress others. They're dressing in designer clothes or wearing the newest sneakers or the newest watch or carrying the nicest bag, but they're racking up all this credit card debt just to be able to afford these things. I personally know people that are driving around in Lamborghinis, but they're living at home with their mom or they're popping bottles in the club every single weekend, but they're behind on their rent. All this just to try to impress other people. But the funny thing is, that $5,000 watch tells the same time as that $50 watch. And that $3 million house can make you feel just as lonely as that $300,000 house. Even that Prius can drive you just as far as that BMW can, if not even further. There's this quote from Will Smith that I really love where he says, too many people buy things they don't need with money they don't have to impress people they don't even like. And the ironic part is, people that have the most money in the world don't even show it. Mark Zuckerberg drives a $30,000 car. Bill Gates wears a $10 watch. And Warren Buffett still lives in the same house he bought for $31,500 in 1958. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having nice things, but when it gets in the way of what's actually best for you, that's when it becomes a problem. If you know someone like my friend who's having a hard time with overspending to impress others, here's three quick tips of how you can overcome it. Number one, evaluate your circle. If you were to tell your friends that you're not gonna go out as much or you're not gonna spend as much because you're trying to save money, would they be more likely to support you or would they give you a hard time? Surround yourself with people that help you develop good money habits. Two, recognize maintaining appearances has no limit. Spending money on maintaining your image has no end. The higher you set the bar, the more costly it becomes to maintain it. You keep digging yourself into a deeper and deeper hole one that you may eventually not be able to get out of. Number three, recognize people don't care anyway. Often the people that we're trying to impress by spending all this money, they're just waiting for us to slip up so they can point their finger and say, see, I told you. This reminds me of this quote that I saw that says, the greatest prison that people can live in is the fear of what others think of them. If you know someone like my friend who drives that beaten up BMW and will do anything to maintain appearances, Please share this so they can also get the message.